So we're going to be taking a look at the selection sort. So the selection sort's rather different than the bubble sort, and it also, it's also a little bit more efficient. And I'll explain. So let's have let's let's give ourselves like five numbers. So let's do three, five, one, two, and seven. So how the bubble sort's going to work is we are going to use a linear search which is actually another algorithm, but I will explain that in a, another video. Just basically think of it as going through each value in the array and then finding the smallest number out of all, of all of those choices. So in this case, it's going to be one. So what we're gonna do is take this one and then we're going to swap it with the earliest value in the array, which is going to be the first one, three. And then we're gonna swap it and our outcome will be one, five, three, two, and seven. And then what we're gonna do next is just cross out that one because the one's considered sorted. After that, we're gonna repeat the whole process again with these four numbers and then keep going and going and going until all the numbers are sorted. So let's do this with um, an array with like maybe six numbers. I wanna show you the whole process. So let's switch over to blue right here. And we're gonna get, we're gonna do what we did in the first example, which is linear search, get the smallest number, and then we are going to swap that with the earliest value in the array, which is gonna be three, this is the first one. So, outcome will be one, three, five, eight, two, and six. And then we're going to gray out that one because it's considered sorted. I would just make the one gray, but that takes more time, honestly. So we're going to repeat the whole process again. Do another linear search, get the smallest value, and then we're going to take that and then we're going to swap it with the earliest value in the array, which is going to be three, which is going to be the second one. So the outcome will be one, two, five, eight, three, six, and then let's get the brackets. And we're going to cross out the first two now since those are considered sorted. And now we're gonna do the same thing again. Do another linear search, locate the smallest number, which is three, and then we're gonna take that smallest number and then do the same thing we did. Now the outcome will be one, two, three, eight, five, six. And then we're gonna cross out the first three, I believe. Yes, the first three. So those three are considered sorted, one, two, and three. We keep doing this until everything is sorted. So another linear search on the last three numbers, and then we locate the smallest value, which is five, we take that value, and then replace it, I mean not replace it, switch it with the earliest value in the array. In this case, it's eight, the fourth one in the array. And the outcome will be one, two, three, five, eight, six. And now one, two, three, and five will be considered sorted. And then we do one last one for eight and six. Another linear search, get the smallest value, Switch that. Uh, switch it over with the earliest value in the array, which is going to be eight, the fifth one. So then our outcome will be one, two, three, five, six, and eight. And with that, the array is considered sorted. So. That's pretty much it for Selection Sword, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, consider subscribing, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have it in the link below. Thanks.